So group U, I'm typing. Group 1, group 2. Now I'm just going to throw out some numbers. Uh, 40, 42, 43, 45, 47, 40, and 6. Over here, 36, 39, 33, 22, 48, 17, and 35. I'm going to figure out averages, just so you can see how you do that. Equals, average, colon, I want to go from that cell, A2, in in the Google spreadsheet, it doesn't let you do this that nicely, but if you're using Excel, it does it a lot nicer. Because here, if you notice, it unhighlighted itself. In Excel, it would keep highlighted. So I have to be careful and actually tell it A8 now. Because if you just click on something, it's just going to say, oh, what are you talking about? And throw out an error, and it's just stupid and annoying. It'll give me a value. If I wanted to round this, what I could do is say, please round all of this to one decimal place. Or to no decimal places. I can tell it exactly what I want it to do. You just need to know how to tell it that. Let's go to two just for because. I can do the exact same thing over here. It's the exact same pattern. So all I need to do is click on the cell and just drag it. And now I have my two averages. If I wanted to find my standard deviation, I can do the actual formula for standard deviation, which is you take every single one of these, so it'd be 40 minus that squared divided by, like, crap, I don't even remember right now. I think you divide it again by the average. Then you start adding all those up, and then you take the square root of all that, which is a, huh? Or equals, equals means do math for me now. Standard dev, S-T-D-E-V, A2 to A8. Thank you. Done. Let's round it to two decimal places. Why? Why not? And then do it again. Done. Oh, that's six? That's supposed to be 36. Fixed. Because again, what you've set up is a formula. And when you look at these things, like the A2 and A8, they're just a whole bunch of variables. They're X's, Y's, Z's, A's, B's, C's, D's. And you can plug in whatever you want, and it just adjusts the math accordingly. So if you knew how to write any math, any math equation that you have, you can write it out in a spreadsheet. And you can just change the variable or what goes into the variable, and it will redo the math for you. So if you had a whole bunch of your some odd reason you're in math and for, your teacher doesn't think that you can graph a line, so it's a whole bunch of here's what M is, here's what B is, and here's what the intercept, and here's what X could be, you can sit there and set up an equation where you just change the numbers and it'll keep spitting out new answers for you. So you don't need to sit there and keep typing it in on a calculator. You can actually make this do everything for you if you know how to play around with it. So, so far I've made you an average. I've given you a mean or a standard deviation. The way I figured this out was average, then first cell to last cell. It's not doing math, if you're curious why, because I put a quote first. Quote means don't do any math or just copy down what I have in front. This one here was equals standard deviation, first cell, colon, last cell. The way I figure out the standard error of the means is I'm going to take my standard deviation, which is that number, I'm going to divide it by the square root of the number up above. How many different values did I have? So I could sit there and count them. <sighs> That's so hard. Give me the count of A2 to A8. Oh, and give me the square root. Square root is an exponent of one half, if you don't know.
That's my standard error of the mean. Oh, we were rounding. Equals, round, all that crap, uh, two places. Thank you. Do it again. Awesome. So if I were to graph this, and this is where it's not useful, so I'll just pause it or stop it. 